but we're up quite early well quite early for us about seven o'clock and the sun's about to rise you might be able to see venus there there's those little cricket sounds this town has a lot of flies we went into a supermarket yesterday and the lady at the checkout was just swatting flies we asked her if it was the supermarket or the town and she said it was the town is this the way to amarillo no this is the way you can go to the oklahoma city sorry i had to do that so this is a stop on route 66 it was a set of roads that went from chicago to santa monica in california uh, i think it's been superseded by the interstate system but buildings from that time still survive like this rather attractive conoco building this has since become a museum. This just says rattlesnakes. There are things on the window. This is a museum dedicated to barbed wire. Oh, all right, yes. Now, I thought yesterday was quite dusty, but we're in a rather depressing section that shows that this area of the country was overwhelmed by dust in the 1930s that led to starvation and illness. Lots of crosses on the wall and a cabinet of tiny irons. So there's ranching history, brand history. There are rare wires. <laughs> so, oh, they are quite rare. They're patented. Yeah, so you can't make this. It's not allowed. They have things such as French military wire and sculptures. Morgue wire, railroad wire, German wire, weaving wire, and wire in the shape of Texas. And you can buy some wire. There's just a lot about barbed wire. That was the Barbed Wire Museum. We're going up. We are approaching the city of Broome, and from this distance of about seven miles away, we can already see their giant cross. That's quite big. We are in Groom, and someone built this enormous cross. So this is a sort of religious-themed rest stop. For example, this is the empty tomb. This looks like the Last Supper. Here is Calvary. And the centerpiece is this cross. Ah, these are actually the 12 stations of the cross. These have all been just lovingly made. This is Pontius Pilate. I think this might be Catholic because this station has Veronica, who uh, isn't in the Bible, but is taught in the Roman Catholic Church. This is St. Michael, Archangel. Notice the Roman soldier's helmet correctly depicts the feathers going this way rather than from the front of his head to the back of his head. Oh, we we've spotted it, it's hard to miss. We spotted it from about eight miles away. Yeah. They're not completed yet. We need six more apostles on the Last Supper. So. Is this the way to Amarillo? Yes, it is. Right. Do you get that a lot? <laughs> no. Oh. Right, let's listen to some music. system we are on southeast 13th avenue it's got four quadrants uh, it's logical mexican food here there's a bit of housing in the center of town skyline happy state Bank. we're going to furby's are you a resident of amarillo the city mm -hmm. What, what's it like living in Amarillo? At times it's a little boring, but every now and then we'll have something exciting come through. But otherwise it's just a little town, raise your children, retire. Right. Like, it's summer, you don't want to stay forever, but it's, an, it's a nice little town, especially where I'm originally from. Okay. Where I'm originally from, it was like literally one horse town. Like everybody knew each other. It was Who's, ridiculous. Right. Mm -hmm. Whose horse was it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, walked around, I walked around town, nobody knew who it was. The tornadoes, are they actually dangerous? I've never had to experience a tornado up close, but they are a little bit of a threat here. Just notice your t-shirt's <laughs> <laughs> Um 
is um, we're actually looking for someone to live in the United States. And Texas looks pretty good. Do you have any recommendations? I would definitely think the bigger cities like Dallas, Houston, Austin, uh, places like that would probably be better. A lot more variety of things you can do. I mean, here it's not a bad place. I personally want, wouldn't want to spend the rest of my life here in this right. town. Where are you planning to go? Um, I plan on actually moving to Oklahoma City. I haven't seen a smoking section in years. That's very unusual. This is the Steak and Swiss. That was quite good. We're leaving Amarillo and heading on into New Mexico. So if you look down on the ground, you'll see that there's a special lane for doing a U-turn. Um, and this is very useful. I've only seen this in Texas. Um, so notice how we're going around here. We can't just do a left onto that road. We just go all the way around. I don't think there's a lot after Amarillo. Here are some Cadillacs stuck in the ground. The sky seems so big. The whole land here is just flat. Here and in Oklahoma, the sun feels stronger than it's felt anywhere else we've been. So people just come along and spray these. I think in the spirit, I'm going to do a little smiley face. There we go. For some reason, the Dodgers decided to remind us that we're in the United States of America. I missed the 13,000 mile mark, but we did do 13,000 miles 25 miles ago. Just over 4,000 feet above sea level. More plumes of dust. I think this is the most cows I've ever seen in one location. They, they just more, keep going. More, and there are more behind them. I wonder how far that goes. I don't know. We are back in the land of Splat, in, in that we washed this about an hour ago, and it is just filthy all over again. Chris, what did you think of Texas? I like it. It's big and bold. Uh, I don't like the flies uh, or the insects, but I like the people and I like the can-do attitude. What about you? I like the Mexican food. It, it does have the best Mexican food we've tried. Wheat. Sunflowers. What crop is this? Another tiny town called Bovina. It's these huge grain silos. Millions of cows. Just go on and on. We are in... New Mexico! There are big ants. Oh, there's oh, tiny birds. Oh, how lovely. We are in Texaco, New Mexico. We've just gained an hour. So we're in mountain time. How are you doing, Chris? The speed limits between states are radically different. This is a what they call a divided highway. It's the same highway as Highway 60. And the speed limit before was 75 miles an hour, and now it's 60 miles an hour. Hmm. The double-decker trains. Clovis, New Mexico. Mini castle. Yeah. This is Portales, or however it's pronounced. It's a big bear strip on the map, but when we look over, it's not there. That's weird. Lots of windmills in the distance. The town of Elida. Seems to be much There are no more trees. And this is the most habitation we've seen in quite a while. It's so remote that one of the few signs they have out here is when the road has a bend in it. There's just nothing here. Just that? And that, which is very similar. There is a mountain in the distance, just to the right. So it's sunny and rainy and we got kicked out of the pool because there was thunder and it's illegal to swim in thunder. I think if Best Western could have a picture for an advert, it would in include this rainbow above their establishment. 